Big Wanna Man here, we're back at you with another video. We got the man man himself back in the back. Got the Iguana Ninja. What it is, what it is in lovely people. Put it like this, man. We're out today and we're gonna be going to a couple different areas that have waterfalls. Um, they look beautiful in your yard, but what a lot of people don't realize is they can also attract invasive iguanas. As you guys know, iguanas are out here and they're in these trees, right? But they love water and they love rocks. Explain why there's a lot of iguanas out here. Like I said, we are in literally the heart of the city. You can hear ambulance in the background, there's car traffic. Right now, I can see several iguanas just kind of hanging out. Oh, yeah. Seem too important for you, this, uh, this pump right here or this, uh, this water fountain. But somebody put money to make it and also to maintain it. And you guys, you have these guys inhabiting that ecosystem right there. You can see one, there's, there's one poking his head out right out there. All these cracks. Wow. In that hole? Into the hole he went. Clean this area up out here with the catch pole on a nice sunny day. Get them. But also leave traps all here. Look, check it out. There's multiple different holes these iguanas can hide in. Ninja said he saw a big one inside there. So I would leave a trap right here, right on top there, just on a nice flat surface with some nice bait. All right, and just like that, we're at another section of the city. So I want to show you guys a little bit of this. And I hate to, you know, show you this, be the one showing you this, but Look at these plants right here. You look at them, it looks like something's been trimming them. Something's been been eating them. I tell right there on that leaf, especially. So Alright guys, we're starting to see some iguanas. Intricate group of roots right there. It's insane. Oh, and they just got one. Into the, into the light. This guy's spikes are so sharp. It's not even funny. My goodness. Short and sharp. Short and sharp. Okay. Another one. About the same size as the one that Ninja caught. Check it out. It seems like this size most is what we're seeing right now. The big alphas, for whatever reason, they're up in their lairs. The females are in their burrows. And these guys think it's their time to come out here and shine, eat food, claim territory, and just do what iguanas do. All right, two more iguanas in the bag. In the bag. How much energy they got. Energy. How much energy they got. Look at that. Not even that big. It's super feisty. Spicy. Like a jalapeno. Hey, check this out, Ninja. Gosh, look 
right there from that tree. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. So I know, I know we got plenty of native animals that are usually out here. I see turtles, I see some native uh, waterfowl. And sometimes I see the seasonal migratory bird. But another thing that we are seeing out here, guys, are a lot more iguanas. And this is a, a complete wildlife area. But like I said, since the iguanas have been introduced to the ecosystem, it seems like they're incorporating more and more with Florida's everyday wildlife. We're seeing them a lot. side right here and you're not gonna believe it but look closely right there we have a pretty decent sized male iguana on the back side of the fountain perched up on that rock I'm gonna sneak up go ninja mode and see if I can put that silly iguana in the bag Uh, kind of broke his tail right there too so he's got a nice little whipper right there I mean that catches you in the wrong place the wrong time it's gonna hurt as you guys can see we got a flock of wild pigeons right here eating some bread different variety of uh Colors, to say the least, out here with these pigeons. So something just spooked them, and they're like, "What?" But obviously, they all flew away at the same time for a reason. They had those instincts. I think that's truly amazing. Yeah, they're my friend. I, I think they have about I see them for ten years. Oh, awesome! Yeah, they awesome. go, they come back. They go, they come back. Yeah, awesome. Every day, I got to do that every day. I can sleep in that if I don't feed them because I do this job for 10 years. It's part of your kind of your your life and yeah. like uh Yes, I like it. I like birds. Very cool. I go very far to find the, the, the bread for them. When I don't have no bread, you know what I'm do? I use I spend my money to buy corn. And to feed uh. them because I cannot sleep in that I, I don't feed them. So if you don't feed them, you kind of don't, you feel restless, right? Yeah, I can because I know I got to do that every day. So it's part of like kind of just your I way of enjoying your life. Yeah, this is God, this is my job, God give it to me. Come out here, feed these yeah, birds. feed the birds. That's so awesome. I love birds. Do you ever see any other kind of birds out here? Maybe like any eagles or anything like no, that? No, I don't see things like that. I don't see the pigeon like this. Oh, okay. Okay. Sometimes I see dogs. Sometimes, not all the time. What about uh, what about lizards like um, Lizard? like iguanas? No, no, iguanas. No, I see. What is name? A iguana. Iguana. Yeah. The big lizards. You know when they come? Eleven o'clock. They come at eleven. Eleven. What do you? How do you? What do you feel about the iguanas? Are are they cool too, or are they? Do you like them yeah, as I well? See they, they walk like that, and I pass. When I got bread, and I feed the birds, and I go home. Have you ever seen an iguana kind of uh, interact with a bird or a pigeon? No, no, no. No? No. I think they're friends. You think they're friends? Uh, they're friends. Okay, okay. I see sometimes they eat together. Ah, I got you. I got you. Awesome, awesome. All right, uh, thank you. You enjoy your day, all right? All right. This guy's even bigger. massive dragons we just finished up our day doing the iguana removal but now I got to go to one of my other jobs where I set some traps and apparently one of them is hit I think we have a furry critter in the trap let's go to the job and see what we caught 
Okay, and we're out here. Let's see what we got. It's a gorgeous backyard. We're kind of like more in the west side of the town and yeah. Okay, we got one trap that's closed and the bait is gone. So we're trying to figure out what's doing that. We're gonna have to probably bring a camera out here, figure that one out. But hello, buddy. How are you doing? You're just hanging out, huh? You're so cute. You're so cute. Oh. Don't get feisty now. It's okay. I'm your friend. Sizing me out. <laughs> Relax. All right. Well, obviously he's not the happiest of friends, but he doesn't know that I'm actually here to help him. And he's gonna go back into the wild, just away from <laughs> these houses. You just need to behave yourself, buddy. You're so cute, but you're so vicious. Oh, you got a lot of anger. You need to calm down if you want me to grab you, okay? You want to calm down? It's so funny because it's like his ears are like like pushed back, like he's like like a dog or something. Look at him; he's got long whiskers, like a cat. Whoa! All right, buddy. Put the camera down. Get this guy up. Uh, bring him to the truck. I'll show you. All right. Yeah, you don't want to get bit by one of these guys right here. Potentially have some type of disease. And good thing this cage has a guard on top, which protects my hand from getting bit and scratched by this raccoon. Kind of just. I think um, I'll go for that and then we'll start moving our way over there, right? Yeah. All right. I'm Right behind the shoulder right here, get a firm grasp, control the back legs, and just like that. Dude, that was great execution, dude. Nice, man, nice work. I knew he would give you a little bit more time, because he didn't... This was the more dominant one compared to the other ones, right? Mm -hmm. He has a triple tail. Another triple tail. He's got a triple tail, and we ain't talking about the fish, y'all. He, he's got it, man. And that's another deformity or a mutation. Yep. Oh, some people man, would say. Look at that. Evolution at its finest. Triple trouble. You get hit with that, and you go feel that in the water. Oh yeah. No, but like we were trying to tell you guys here in the Iguana Kingdom, especially right now with the breeding season. You're gonna see a lot bigger males out. Some of them will be alpha, some of them will be not. The one Ninja has right here, it seems like he's in that transition right now. Yes, he is. Starting with the spikes. He's got the orange spikes, and you can see uh, his body is green. But look at his tail real quick. Orange. That's it, yep. It's orange. He's, he's getting there. Now this, that iguana would obviously be outmatched and outsized by the one I'm holding right here. Oh, yeah. Just because you can just tell from the obvious size difference yeah. that this guy is more dominant. Well, we got this right here. Guys, we have some rain coming right now. So we're gonna go ahead, bag these guys and see what else we can catch. Okay. Now right here, another example of some of the damage that iguanas can cause. Right here we have a bougainvillea bush. 
You can see it's been eaten. Ain't nothing left but twigs. These guys will literally jump in here like that and eat all these bushes down, big and small. Yep. It's pretty wild. All right, guys. So, so this is the, uh, what do we call this, Ninja? Like a, a vineyard or, or a... Big, 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 big female. Big female, yeah. Let's go see, yeah. So you guys seen, like I said, me and Ninja caught those two ones out by the front, by the lake. But, uh, you know, we're back here right now. And uh, we're looking for some iguanas. We're seeing a lot of squirrels, though. Look, wait, Ninja, oh. Oh, all righty then. All righty. What? Okay. 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 Oh. What are they doing? Uh, they're they're playing. Oh, okay. They're playing. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. They're they're. <laughs> they're like ninjas. Okay. Anyways. We went from PG to raid. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. All right, well, now that we're distracted from the iguana, we gotta try to find this thing. And then went straight out. Dude, but you know, we know that there's iguanas here. They're hiding, obviously there's no sun, but dude, a lot of squirrels out here, bro. A lot of squirrels. And I got a joke for you, Ninja. Why do the squirrel swim on his back? Why does the squirrel swim on his back? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if that was funny, <laughs> if you guys, if anybody caught that. We're at the other section of the job real quick. Check it out. But look closely. We have several, several big iguanas out here in the field. We're gonna go see if we can get some. Right into it. He's on death row right towards us. <laughs> Careful, they like to charge sometimes. Grab those back legs right there. This specimen is fat. Look at look at her legs. Look how look how look, look at that. Check this out. You see that? Yeah. Look. That is fat. She could be huge. pregnant. She could be. Dude, dude, that, that is huge. That is huge, dude. Incredible. That is a very chunky mom. She's so fat, guys. She doesn't even have a neck. She doesn't. She doesn't. She's that fat. That's crazy. She could be knocked up. This might be one of the first ones to Probably. get up. That's a 60 piece right there. 60, all right. Yeah. Let's go ahead, bag her. All right. Long. Nobody said it was going to be easy, Ninja. Nope. That's what I like. Nothing easy. Nobody said it was going to be Nothing easy, my friend. Nothing easy either. It's a male, right? Yeah. Definitely a male, dude. Definitely a male. Could be the breeder. Get him, Ninja. Get him, Ninja. Get him, Ninja. It's still slippery. Just be careful. Get him, Ninja. Get him, Ninja. Get him, Ninja. Grab him with the house. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Live action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Yo, his heart is pumping. He looks ticked off, man. Look how look how his mouth is flared and his dewlap is just extended like that. Boy, boy, nah. Wait, we disturbed him from doing something. Just real quick, I want to show you guys what if he was sitting at. Boom. Look at this little look at this. What is that? That's a 
You know how they, they get the grass in like squares? Yeah. And they just put it down? Yeah. He literally dug up a whole square. Oh, wow. He just started. Probably started from this morning, maybe, or yesterday. A couple of minutes before it starts raining out here. So, you know, we kind of came at like not the best time, but, you know, obviously they're still out here. So are we. Let's bag this guy. Let's go catch another iguana. So you ninja just transferred me this big boy right here. Look at that. Literally a dragon. Back over here, we have two ducks kind of just hanging out. You can see one is like normal colored, and then there's another one that's kind of brown, kind of golden. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of brown, kind of, you know. We're not sure why that is, but maybe some of you guys at home might know. Beautiful. We don't know if that's a rare species or what that is, but it seems to be golden. Straight up finesse. Straight up finesse. Big girl. Another big female. Woo. So you guys are seeing it right oh now. Just, goodness. just as predicted, big alpha males, big breeding females are starting to come out of their dens. It's starting to get uh, breeding. You guys see what those squirrels were doing too. Seems like all the animals out here got jungle fever. Jungle. Oh, 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 oh. That is for sure, Sheila. Leopard, yeah, big leopard. Big leopard pattern right there. Big leopard pattern. Yo, these females are getting ridiculously big. Yeah, dude. The bigger they get, the, the more eggs they're laying. Dude. Potentially, yeah, the more they can hold. Oh, that's ridiculous. The more they can hold. And as you guys can see, just look around where we're at. Take a look. There are a million and one places for an iguana to be out here. And we're catching all these in, just on the ground. As you guys know, iguanas love to be in trees. We haven't even caught any in the trees yet. We can't see them right now, guys. We just can't see them at the moment. Holy right there, man. across. Across. Big, no, right there, look, look. Come here, get a mm. shot of this, get a shot of this one camera. Mm. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, there it is right there, you see that? But look right to the left by that tree ninja. You see that female right yeah, there? She's another, kinda, another fat Sheila. Yeah, she's kind of just sitting there. And then you have a big, like, male. You want to just away. walking away from uh, that. Man, do you think they just did the deal? I mean, we're not going to make no assumptions, guys. But just, just with the season of what it is right now, how it is breeding season, yeah. it's safe to say we have to make those type of assumptions. Even if they're not doing it right now, who's to say they're not going to be doing it in the future? <laughs> oh, another big. Fifth, 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 um, fifth. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see that one. What were you looking at? I was looking at that, yeah, that female him. under the tree right oh. there in the shade. I thought you were pointing that there's a... Oh shoot! Oh hey, my hey. god. A big female. Yep. Yeah, well, the point that we're trying to make, guys, is right now is the breeding season. And that's why we're seeing these big adult breeders out and about. And that's why we're catching them. So Ninja was saying it's the perfect time to get it, get these breeders. Big Alpha is kind of walking away. He kind of senses, I guess, what's going on. There might be danger in the area. So we're gonna go ahead and bag these guys. We're gonna go see if we can get that big alpha. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, so like Raj was saying about that duck who was like a hybrid or something, my assumption is that a Muscovy duck mated with like one of our native ducks, one of those pretty ducks you be seeing. Mm, that, that could be one, one of the things, but it could be multiple reasons. Yeah. All right, guys, we're on the other side real quick. We're trying to see if we can find that alpha. Check that out right there. Man. We have an iguana kind of hanging in that where the sprinkler is right there. He's in like the little divot. Yeah. Seems like these iguanas are like, you know, like they're not doing it on purpose, guys. But they are definitely interfering with important infrastructure and plants, right? A sprinkler system might not seem like a big idea. It's expensive if it gets broken. This guy is spicy right here. It's still infrastructure and it can still be damaged by iguanas. There he is right there. Yep, check this out. Yep, check this out. Wow, blended in perfectly. Yep. He was sitting right there. Would have never seen him if you don't have the iguana eye. Would have never seen him until it's too late. <laughs> You're coming with us, guy. Couple of questions for you. 
All right, have a good day, sir. Yeah. Seems like a lot of people are waiting for this cold weather ninja. That's uh -huh. like the third comment we heard about it today. <laughs> <want these> <laughs> The guy said, oh, if only it can snow for a week in Florida, <laughs> we, our problems will be solved. <laughs> I, I honestly feel like some of the iguanas, well, most of the iguanas would, would die, but then most of them would probably just shake it off. Like the big, big ones? I think well, they, 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 like can, they can go into like, like brumation though and hibernation oh, too. Okay. Just like alligators? Exactly. And, and just like how, you know, tegus, alligators, other reptiles that yeah. live in cold states when it freezes. Yeah. They can either go, you know, yeah, in that state. they can go underground or they can be frozen in the water and have their nose out. Yeah, that's what, that's what alligators are. What was that? What was that? All right. We'll worry about that after Ninja. Let's go see if we can find that alpha, all right? Is he there? Yeah, considering the damage iguanas can do to your property. I'm very happy that this whole association hired me a ninja. The iguana's literally in the water right now. His head is just out. Oh, he's gone. Disappeared. Disappeared. Just to leave a trail of bubbles. Put it like this, man. The game. Let the games begin, ninja. Yep. Let the games begin. I think we kicked some serious iguana butt on our first day at this job. We got over 10 nice breeders out the ecosystem. We've seen some big ones. We interacted with residents. We've seen some plants. We've seen some damage. And I think we did a really good job. And it's only the first day of many out here at this job. Look, look at this, guys. The, the attempt on saving their crops. And the iguanas still find a way back there. Just keep walking. He thinks... He doesn't know who we are, Ninja. He has no idea. No idea, coach. No idea, buddy. No idea. Oh, my yes, sir. Holy crap. This tree is loaded. Oh, there's a, look, Ross, come here, come what, here. what, what? Come right here, right here. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Where? Oh, yeah. That's a big boy. Well, we'll get him, dude. Oh, yeah. We got day. the contract here. One day. Oh, and this guy is strong. Made. Look, look, that's exactly where he's going, too. Oh, yeah. That path. Yeah. Easy escape. Oh, yeah. This tree is loaded. Dude. I'll grab him for you. Grab him a thousand. Oh, easy. Oh, shoot. Wow. Whoa. Easy, easy, easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got him. I got him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch your back. I got him. Got, oh, my guy. He keeps tail whipping me in the face. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. Guys, you just gotta be very careful with these big boys. They can still scratch you. I don't mind getting scratched, but getting bit by a, a giant like this is no bueno, guys. No bueno. If I ever got bit, I'd probably take a week off to get my mind right on iguanas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I've been bitten before, but thank God it was just by a small female. You guys remember that video? I hit that clean double out two females yep by yep. the edge of the water yeah look at look at look at that fruit tree is that um is that avocado i was saying i think this is the spanish avocado the is spanish it, avocado yeah because it's it's circular oh yeah it's kind of like the shape of an orange yeah then the other ones that we have i don't know if they're americans or whatever but the other avocados are like longer little like you know yeah different shape different and stuff. shape so yeah, that's interesting. The Spanish version. They're still good. <laughs> still good. Oh, dude, look at this. What? There's a hole. No way. Yes way. Way. That's perfect, dude. Hold on, let me walk around. Oh, yeah. That's deep, bro. Yeah? Yeah. Like they just started or something. That It goes down in there. All right, well, you know what we're going to have to do, Ninja? I got a camera scope. Like a little, like a little, like wire thingy. So we'll, uh, we'll stick it in there. See what we see, man. Oh yeah. Today we are going to be wrapping all these trees with uh, iguana wraps, so the iguanas can't be climbing up. I think we got a total of uh, like what, 30, 40 of them out here. So we've been doing a really good job. But you know, obviously, while we're out here, while we're wrapping the trees, if we see any more, of course, we're going to bag them. 
right here. FX Crown. Is that that's what you're seeing right there, right? Oh yeah, right here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you see where you're at? There, check that out. Nice young alpha male iguana. Yeah, look at all those baby ducks. Hey, that's what's going to be. You see the guanar straight down? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see that? Yeah. That would be a uh, total food. Where was that big one that we saw at Paul? There's a big one. There's a big one. I mean, yeah. it's like that. It's like this big sitting up on the tree. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. There's, there's a big one right down here by the tree. Big one, he was really... Big iguana. That's huge. Yeah, because that's just like yeah, that's just a piece. piece. This is huge. That was like snakes. Could have been that iguana that was here. Oh yeah, that's cool. He's molted quite a few times. Go straight for that big one. Yep. I got your back up. No. I, I, like I said, I had emptied it. So. <laughs> Let him go. Yeah, just finish him right there. Make sure he's not on no rock. Did he come up? Where is he? Sometimes, with, with the, especially with the big ones like that, you get, you put them in the right the right place where you're supposed to shoot them, yep. and they'll do that little depth spin, yep. and it just it did all they need is like five seconds of recuper, and that's all they need just to. Yeah. Next, that, he's still here. Come right here. He's about to get he's about to get on land. As soon as he touches the land, take the shot. Take this last shot. If he doesn't go down, then it's all right. i 
dinosaurs. Iguanosaurus Rex, buddy. I'm telling you. Lift him, dude. Right, Hold on. Oh, he's still here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He got his back leg. He's Hold not on. going anywhere. Yep. He's trying, though. Hold <laughs> on, CJ. He's trying, though. Right Look at that one just coming right at us. <laughs> There's another one going up there. There's another one up in there. Oh, my gosh. Or the 22. Oh, yeah, that's a 22. Yeah, this is the, F the FX is 22. Oh, I gotta shoot that. You will. Okay. Just so I know what it holds and feels like. It looks much lighter than this. This is not a small one either, boy. Woo, look at that. <laughs> Another Iguanosaurus Rex. Yes. Oh, man. That's a, that's a beast, too. <laughs> that that's is. a grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, man. We, it was a big iguana removal job we're at today, yes, dude. Yes. There's, look, there's, and there's a little one right there. Listen, just jumped there's out. There's five. I counted in that tree. Yeah. I counted five. Five, eh? Yeah. Dang, all, man. You know, maybe a foot and a half, two foot. But... We're going to have tough management about this because we got to trim these up. Okay, it would be kind of unsafe for us to shoot directly in this tree, you know? Yep. Yep. That's a level. Yep. Look at this right here, dude. This is what these silly iguanas were up to today. Yep. Look at that. No oh, silly iguanas. You just want to dig some holes. We can't shoot. Right? No, no, no. No. When we go over there, we, over there, we can. Tell that yard guy. Right, stop, 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 stop. There's an iguana right here in front of me. Big, small? I think she's a female. She's here. The thing is all the way down there. Exactly. There were five of them down here. Right there underneath that seat. Alright, we gotta, we gotta move Tangerine yeah. colored iguana. Look at that right there. That is beautiful. Tangerine, y'all. 
all different colors out here. All different kinds. We got black, orange, super orange. Woo, that's a pretty boy. Great shooting, man. Uh, go on and touch. Yeah, he just said hit him in the name. Okay. okay. <laughs> that's it, man. Great shot. Great shot. All right, we're going to cool off for a second. This is a very unique color. I've never... Yeah, especially out here, none of the other ones are that color. Yeah, this is... This Loki might... I don't know. You think he but might yeah, be the second It might be like a hybrid or something. Definitely a new tail. Yeah. You think out of all three of these, he might be the most alpha one? No, nah, this His big boy. Well, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with the tangerine one. All right. I think he's the most so alpha one. Go on so the that question, these are alphas? So the question is, <laughs> who is dead. the most alpha? <laughs> well, this Iguana water. Man went with this bad boy. Mm -hmm. whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Got some juice in him. Uh, our friend here, Bill, here. Bill, went with this big chunker. And then I went with the grandfather of all back. That is full extended tail. This is the only one that's been fighting his whole life. Oh, Ooh, still, still fighting. fighting. <laughs> but these two... These two, I say these two are way older than this one. Yeah, I think this one's the oldest. This is the then oldest, this one and then second, this one. the youngest. Yep. Yep. I, th I think the tangerine one is the most alpha because he's the youngest, but he seems the most feistiest. Ah, okay. You know, like he's already bright. Yeah, he, yeah he's these boys had their time. Oh, shoot. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> he, still... he goes, were you talking about me, were you? Whoa. He still got some sauce. Look at the cheeks on that. Look at the cheeks on this. Yep. He's still oh, that one's got, that's got some pretty good cheeks on it. Yeah. Too. They all do. Wow, incredible, y'all. Look at that. Growing a whole nother inch. Did you peeling the spikes off? Yeah. Plus it just bolted. Yeah, he just, look, his skin is still, look on this side, he's still, was, still was shedding. But yeah, I think he's like 11, like 10, 11. We got scales, we're gonna see which is the biggest one, dude. Sweet. He's got gotta scales. be a 15 pounder. 14, 15. I'd say 12. 12? All right, I'm going 13, 14. Okay. 12? What about this one? Same? 11? Yeah, I would say within a pound. Okay. Yeah. All right, but. And I'd say that one's a pound less. All right. So 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Let's go. All righty then, three big boys. Stick a douche. Yabba dabba. In the bag. Look at that, baby. Yeah, don't let me hang it to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cooler full of iguanas, y'all. We gotta give it up for the camera guy, too. Oh, yeah. Without, Big shout out to the cameraman. Because yeah, right without right. that, our memories would be. Right, right. Cameraman, Broward County, 954754. We do got a couple other sections to, to, and then we can take a break, and then we got another full job we gotta go to, all right? Good. Yep. You already know the motto. What is it? In the back. In the back. <laughs> Boys and girls, that big iguana swam across. It's about to rain right now. You guys already know we're in uh, storm season in the tropics. Right, right. You know, so just like as it was hot, now it's about to rain. But we do have a, one more giant we have to go try to recover. So we're, that's where we're off to right now, y'all. Yeah. Let's go! Thank you, son. That was the whole team effort right there, boys and girls. Look how look how thick that, that muck is right there. Ninja's gotta try to fish them out, y'all. The good, the bad, the ugly. Sometimes we get rained on, obviously. Woo! Nice. Let's get it! 
Another silly iguana. In the back. In the back. Swam right to it. Hey, dude. perfect timing, dude. Now it's, it's about to storm up. Let's go have some lunch, man. Yeah, get it. Go. Boys and girls, how many iguanas did we catch so far? Well, we are experiencing some more storms right now, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit, get dry, get cozy. But uh, stay tuned momentarily. We're gonna open up uh, the cooler and see how many we got in the bag. And we're gonna weigh a couple too, some of the biggest. We got a little competition going on, so you might wanna hang on for that, all right? Vlog y'all, hey, Vlog World, what's up guys? We're back, we're taking a lunch. What do you have to say about the removal that we did this morning, man? Better than I could have expected. <laughs> it's a 58th birthday that I will never forget. Yeah, not, the bird, to... not that I would try, but you know, <laughs> I might just forget it because I get old. <laughs> <laughs> man, I can't, I don't, I, how many do you think we got in the cooler, in the back? I'm guessing 10 to 12. I'd say like 15, I'd say 15, 16. Okay, we'll go 13 in the middle. Okay, I guess we are gonna find out. All right, guys. Hey, our buddy Bill Harris came down and man took care of business with the Iguana Man and the Iguana Ninja. It was an epic day. Uh, Bill, something you want to say, man? Yes, I would like to dedicate this to my lovely wife, Mary Beth. Aww. Almost 19 years of marriage who helped Ooh. make this possible, and our four grandkids who are looking forward to this. And one day we can bring them down and do the same thing. <laughs> we couldn't have done it without these wonderful people. Happy birthday! Woo! 58! Woo! We couldn't have had such a great day without you guys as well. Speaking of a great day, uh, we're going to go ahead and count the iguanas and waste some from our first job today, all right? Let's check this out. Go ahead, Ninja. We're going to line them all up. Man, those are big. Look at that guy. Oh. These things are massive. Oh my goodness! Mamas and their papas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Santa Maria. It looks like we didn't even waste our time on these little ones. <laughs> nah, dude. How did that one get in there? Nah, just straight sun dragons <laughs> out here, man. All giants. These are some of the smaller ones that we first got. These are all female. Obviously, they look bigger in the, in the magnifying glass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One more. There's one more. I know they got that number. Sheesh. Now we're gonna look at this right there, guys. Look at that harvest right there for the first job. That is ferocious right there, man. Size of some of these iguanas. Uh, Phil, you want to go ahead and count them out for us? Yeah, let's do it. One. This should count as two. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Let's go! Yes. What did I say? But I said 12, and I we said haven't shot 15. the last three yet. Oh! <laughs> ah, you actually... We did. You guys had, you guys did good on the numbers, but now we need to talk about some weight, all right? You think this is, guy, the, is that the winner? I think that's the winner, yeah. That's, this is that's the one I picked to be the winner. You think this is I him? Yeah. No, it's, this it's is the winner. It's hard to pick because there's some big ones. Well, I told him to drink a lot, so he went for <laughs> Alright, let's see where we at. Big money, baby. He said 12 pounds. Wow. 12? Yeah, that's what I said. 12.73. 11.73. 11.73? So, so that's 11 and 3 quarter pounds. Okay. So that's pretty close. This I mean, not that we're getting technical or anything. <laughs> I don't like to lose. <laughs> <laughs> he's had, he looks like he has arthritis. Yeah, he's about like... What do you say? He, he has to be like 14, I'm 13, say, 14. I'm gonna say, he's, he's heavy. I'm gonna say 12 again, man. 12.5. 12.5, cameraman's in at 12.5. I'm going 14 all in, baby. Two for zero. Here we go, zeros. Twelve and a quarter. Twelve and a quarter? Yep, yep, twelve okay. and a quarter. I think this might be the winner right here, dude. Yep, that's the one that you picked to be the winner. Is this him? The red one? The tangerine one? The tangerine one, yep, that was the one you picked. Zero. Alright, you ready? Oh, let's go! You're right in the middle of the two of us. Oh! Yep. yep, you're right in the middle. Dang, son! Still, 12 pounds is still massive, yeah, dude. Yeah. We're talking about yeah, we, 12 we got, pound lizards. We got 36 pounds in three of them. Holy mackerel. 
All right, boys. This one is 11.4. Okay. Plus, he's missing the tail, so 11.2. Let's see about that. That's the last one. <laughs> it's it's the last yes. one. We're going to see, guy. You've been on target all day, <laughs> literally and a quarter of a pound, so. You've been on target all day. Okay. Wow. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Uh, it's off a quarter pound on that Still one. a big a big puppy. Yep. Talking about a ten pound. Yeah, uh, ten pound and over, you're talking... You know. You're talking about a big animal. Yeah. 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 You're talking about a big animal. You're talking about a ten pound animal. It's not those little lizards that crawl across your flowers. <laughs> no, no. You're talking about ten pound dragons, guys. Iguanosaurus Rex out here. Any iguana over ten pounds, we just call them iguanosauruses, y'all. There you go. Alphas too. They are alpha. Yeah. It's the alphas that really get this big though, Bill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah they get all the hormones to Yep, to grow and to be to be dominant in their society. This is a, oh, that's a lightweight, nine and a half. It's a little guy, and he's still almost 10 pounds. Yep. Let's go ahead and put these iguanas in the bag. Woo!